What's up everybody, it's NS here. Welcome to another episode. This week we're in Beverly Hills, California and about to tour this stunning modern home. This home was designed and developed by Richard Landry and Merco Development and the house itself has six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, 12,822 square feet of interior space built on a 36,578 square foot lot and this property is currently on the market for $32 million. As always, we will leave more information about the property and the property link down in the description of this video. And before we start our tour, I wanna to thank the listing agents, Rainey Williams, Brandon Williams, and Tyrone McKillen for allowing us to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you. And now, let's begin our tour. First of all, nice to meet you in person. So nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Following your career for, since the beginning and watching it grow. I appreciate so, it. So uh, I was the one that wanted you to come out here and incredible job all the way around. Thank you. And We're I'm a honored. fan. I'm a fan. Appreciate it. Appreciate <laughs> it. Well, let's talk about this amazing home. Yes. Uh, I saw the pictures when it was initially listed. Beautiful three stories, all glass opening up to the amazing views. Tell me your first expression when you walk into the space, how does it make you feel and what's so special about it? You know, I really think what we tried to create is a tranquil, sexy, family, organic modern. So it's not one of those bachelor party moderns. This is more for your family that really loves style, sophistication, but really wants to feel like they could be in St. Bart's, they could be in Bali, or they could be in Beverly Hills. The house is located on a quiet cul-de-sac here in Beverly Hills and from the street level we can really see the front facade of this home. I love the travertine clad walls complemented with smooth stucco finish on the first and second floor and to break that stone design element they also brought these white oak louvers which we're going to see also throughout the interiors and the exteriors of this home. Overall, it's a beautiful modern architecture. On our left-hand side, we have the two-car garage that's enclosed, and right next to that, we have additional parking on the outside, and over here, we have the front door. Now, let's go inside. All right, everyone, here we are at the entry. We got a beautiful modern pivot door with multiple latches. Let's close that real quick, and as soon as we walk in, we have this spacious entry with two-story ceilings, with travertine wall that goes all the way to the ceiling, nice and spacious, and we have travertine floors throughout this level. Now, as we take this hallway, it takes us straight to the formal living room area. This section of the home is all open. We have walls of glass opening towards the amazing views of the hillside and the city. Same travertine floors are also here, and this space just gets a ton of natural light. And since it's so open, we have multiple seating sections. First one right here, second one on this side. And as we wrap around, right around the corner, we have the bar area here. Again, complementing your formal living room area. Beautiful natural stone countertops, bar seating, and we have white oak cabinetry throughout, both on the cabinets, as well as some of these wood paneling that we're gonna see throughout the exterior and the interior of this home. I think it gives a lot of warmth to the space and goes with the organic lines of this home. And we're gonna talk about those organic lines later in the video. But overall, this section is beautifully wood paneled with open shelving, LED lighting. And Mikey, let's take a quick look. We have two fridges here, nicely paneled in. Your sink setup. I gotta talk about this detail. I love when 
fixture handles are bolted to the countertops. Something about them, I think it just looks very sleek and elegant. Yeah, it just doesn't even look like a fixture really. Exactly. And uh, we have more cabinetry here, again, serving as an island. Now, I wanna go back to the former living room area. And what's so amazing about this space are these automatic sliding glass doors that pretty much opens this entire space to the views. In fact, let's open them up real quick. We have to make sure they're not locked before we turn them on. So we have to wait for the confirmation there. There you go. And there you have it. All of them are opening up. And the way they accomplish this look is by having these structural columns recessed into the property rather than having it on the exterior walls. That way the whole exterior cladding of this house can be these sliding glass doors, which is amazing. Again, this is something that we see a lot in these modern homes and this home certainly takes it to the next level. Also, we are right here in the former living room area. Right in front of us, we have a drop down TV that comes down from the ceiling which is amazing. So it doesn't take anything away from your views. You get the full experience of the views or you can simply watch your TV there. Now, let's wrap around and talk about the patio space. Starts on this side. We have a staircase going down to the lower level, which is another amazing entertainment space of this home. We have the patio here, seamless transition with the floors, and they have the same travertine that we saw on the inside, also on the outside with a little bit different finish for the grip and like just so that you don't, you don't slip as you're on the outside. Yeah, this is a pool area, so you might jump in the pool, get wet, obviously. Exactly, you need a little bit of texture, right? Now, another detail, I love the upper floor, extends above us a little bit, serves as a little bit of a cantilever, and protects the windows, sliding glass doors, and gives it a little bit of privacy and shade, and it wraps around on this side where we have the pool setup. Now, before we continue our tour, I wanna to mention something. Uh, as you guys know, a few weeks ago, we were in Florida, I had a little too much fun there and actually injured myself and ripped my hamstring. So my walk is still not perfect yet. I may stumble here and there, so I wanna apologize for that. Y'all might see Ennis in a little bit of pain, but we tour houses, so that's what we're here to do. We make it happen, right? All right, patio extends out. On our right-hand side, we have the former living room area. All these sliding glass doors are open. Floors seamlessly transition to the outdoors, and views are amazing. I mean, we have the hillside right in front of us. We're about eight to nine minutes away from the heart of Beverly Hills. We have the city views on this side, just an awesome view and an amazing location. And we have the pool right in front of us, dark blue plaster. We have mosaic tiles all around the edging and the spa of this pool. And check this out, this is really cool. Right there, we have an outdoor TV that comes up to the surface, which is awesome. So you can watch your TV or you look at your view. A lot of uh, really cool drop down TVs, we'll see more. A lot, yeah, a yeah. lot of them, yeah. which is awesome. We're not used to seeing them a whole lot. All right, let's continue, Mikey. We have the kitchen and the rest of the wing on this side, but first I wanna take everybody inside real quick and talk about the formal dining room area, all open, beautiful chandelier above, and going with the organic lines of this home, even the furniture in this house has a ton of uh, solid wood and just rustic details. Now, right behind the formal dining room area, we have the steel staircase going up to the top floor and the lower level open riser, beautiful modern design, chandelier right in the center that goes from the top floor all the way to the bottom floor, and that massive picture window assembly with lures that we saw in the exterior, you can actually see it on this side. Now, we have our first opening here that goes to the kitchen, but before we do that, I wanna cover this section right here. Again, the screen details, white oak uh, woodwork, elevator access here, and this door opens up to a spacious, powder room for this level. Travertine floors, and they brought the same travertine detail on the back wall as well with a massive mirror. Floating vanity design, and what I love about this cabinetry is the fact that they use the same travertine as a countertop, waterfall edge, and wrap on the bottom, and almost like created a frame out of travertine to have these drawers recessed in, which looks stunning in my opinion, and the same countertop basically serves you as your sink setup, wall fixtures, and these knobs that are bolted to your countertops. Looks stunning. Beautiful powder room. Really, really nice. Absolutely. Now, let's go back to the hallway. And before we go through this, by the way, hallway closet, before we go through this opening to the kitchen and the family room, we're gonna check out this room, which is the office. 
Now, I love this office for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's super secluded from the rest of the rooms on this level, super private. Um, I love the wood tones with the hardwood floors, built-in cabinetry on this side where you can just store your things, books, any kind of office stuff you have. We have the desk set up here. As you guys can see, the room is super spacious. And I love that they put these sliding glass doors that's stacked on this side, opens up to this kind of a courtyard slash this small patio space on this level. That's the exterior wall and we are below grade on this section. So they had a chance to create this opening right above me, which lets a ton of natural light and uh, breeze to come into this room and just makes it so airy and kind of cozy. Yeah, you wouldn't think that like a room that almost feels underground would have this much breeze, but there's like a you know strong wind gust coming through here. I agree. Uh, Ennis was using this as his little office when we got here earlier and we didn't need AC, it was perfect. No, it's perfect. And I love these like concrete planters with trees. It has such a good vibe, such a good energy. For sure. All right, this door opens up to a full bathroom. I mean, this room can certainly serve as a great bedroom as well because it has a full bathroom. Seamless transition to the walk-in shower. Again, travertine everywhere. Beautiful brush nickel fixtures. Floating vanity design here with fabricated countertops and your toilet setup. Great room. All right, let me take everybody back to this opening. And this is where we have the family room and the kitchen. I'm gonna start with the kitchen because there are so many details I would like to talk about in this kitchen that I wanna make sure everyone sees because it looks very simple and elegant, but everything was so well thought out about this kitchen. So we're gonna take our time here. First off, what's so impressive about this space is the fact that the whole kitchen and the cabinetry in your island is really close to the outdoors. Currently we have the corner glass all open, so we have the seamless transition. You're cooking here, looking at your amazing view. Your pool is right at a perfect angle where you're seeing the city. You have this amazing breeze coming into your kitchen. I mean, it's just such an inviting setting to cook. Right in front, we have a nice, kind of an informal dining area, solid wood table. It's just a great place to have breakfast, lunch, you know, right next to your kitchen. Now, before we cover the kind of the base section of the kitchen, I wanna focus to the side for a second. We have the espresso maker here, your paneled freezer and fridge. Let's take a quick look on this. It's one of those push designs. We haven't seen one of these in a while. Now we do, yeah. and looks great. We have more built-ins on this side, white oak cabinetry, again, very light and really complements the modern and organic lines of this home. Now, let's focus on this section. We got a beautiful island right in the center, very good size, bar seating on the other side, and this countertop, Calacutta Viola, looks stunning. This might be one of my favorite uh, stones we've ever seen on this channel. Yeah, it yeah. looks stunning. It's, uh, it's, it's almost like entertaining just to look at. There's so many different veins and details and uh, That's why they didn't put any uppers here. They just wanted the stone to speak. Yeah. And something about this light, bright background with the dark purple and kind of burgundy veins and details, it creates a beautiful contrast. It's hard for me to almost explain it, but looks stunning. And uh, they have the waterfall edge here. Mikey, let's wrap around. We have the Gaggenau microwave on this side, main sink. Let's see, push up a button. Your first Gaggenau dishwasher. I want to say there's probably another one right here. I'm correct, two dishwashers. And focusing on this side, like we talked about, they didn't put any uppers or some sort of an open shelving here because stone is so beautiful to look at. And that's what they wanted to amplify here. We got a commercial vent above, your Gaggenau induction cooktop. And this white oak cabinetry is built on a Bloom Ergo track system. And what I mean by that is, you press the cabinetry, you see how it kind of kicks out? Yeah. And when you close it, it just kind of sucks itself in. You hardly have to put any pressure on it. I know you love soft closed drawers. This takes it to the next level. Next level, exactly. Yeah. Overall, beautiful kitchen. I mean, my head's off, just looks stunning. Right next to the kitchen, space flows into your family room. Super cozy. We got a nice L-shaped couch set up here. Linear gas fireplace, again, clad with travertine. And I love subtle details like the Reveal detail on the bottom. We have a nice reveal detail on top with LED lighting, and they even recessed in the TV perfectly. Also sliding glass doors, of course, open up to the other side, and we're gonna check out the outdoors in a bit again. Now I wanna come back here. We have the staircase going up here. On our right-hand side, we have a small pantry space, and on the left-hand side, we have the door opening up to the two-car garage, 
And lastly, we have an exterior door right in front of us. Now, I wanna take everybody this way. We have another bathroom here, which is a full bathroom, same natural stone floors, white oak cabinetry, beautiful vanity setup, and a walk-in shower on this side. And Mikey, let's open up this door. Go to the outdoors one more time. So on our right-hand side, we have the family room opening up. I love the concrete planters, glass railing throughout to maximize the view. And you have your outdoor barbecue area here. It's almost like extension of your kitchen because you got an awesome Wolf gas grill here, your sink set up, small fridges. It's like if you wanna cook steaks or something that might smoke up the house a little bit, you can easily do that here and walk back into your kitchen. Yeah. And let's see, lastly, we have a staircase also on this side going down to the lower level. And that's pretty much it for the main floor. Now let's go back inside, go down to the lower level and check out all the rooms. Tell me some of the design finishes here, right? A lot of stone. A lot of, lot of unfilled travertine, which travertine is one of the most resilient stones. It's what they built the Roman Colosseum with. So it's a very old stone, very resilient. It doesn't get hot. It's a hundred degree day. You're outside and your feet aren't gonna burn. It doesn't get really dusty. It's an amazing stone and it's been used for tens of thousands of years. And it's an Italian unfilled travertine with teak and French oak. So very simple, not a lot of different stones everywhere, and uh, just, just simple elegance. All right, everyone, here we are at the lower level. Now, before we start our tour, I wanna to turn back and talk about this beautiful steel staircase design, open riser, glass railing, and we can actually see the bottom of the chandelier that we saw off of the entry. Now, right underneath the staircase, they framed this awesome seating area right across from the bar. And in fact, on my right-hand side, we have an awesome seating area, covered patio, wine cellar. Mikey, let's not show this section yet because I wanna take everybody to this hallway, cover some of the bedrooms there first, then we're gonna come back here. Now, we're gonna take this hallway and again, same natural stone floors are also here. Walls are all open, perfect for your art. In fact, that's why they have the recessed in lighting. And the first door on my left hand side opens up to the chef's kitchen. Now having a chef's kitchen on the lower level may have surprised some of you, but when you think about it, you have all that entertainment space on one side, having a kitchen like this really complements that. And over here we have a gas wolf cooktop, six burner. We have our uh, commercial vent above, natural stone countertops, white oak cabinetry, your sink setup, dishwasher, and two Sub-Zero fridges. And going here, we have a nice laundry room, two washers, two dryers, and a sink setup. And in case you're wondering what's behind me, that's an AV closet. Now, this door opens up to the first bedroom on this level. Nice and bright, I love the ceiling heights here, and even in these rooms, we have built-in speakers, recessed lights, king-size bed situated on this side, sliding glass door open up to the covered patio space with a seamless transition. And on this level, they went with hardwood floors for the bedrooms. And Michael, let's show this real quick. We have the walk-in closet here, nicely dialed in. And around the corner, we have the full bathroom. Again, beautiful natural stone finishes, floating vanity design. And uh, the finishes in this house are very uniform, so they're not really competing with each other. And um, certain homes that we tour, we see different kind of finishes in each one of the bedrooms or the bathrooms. But in this house, they really went with this uniformed, natural, organic earth tones. And I think it looks stunning. Bedroom number two, again, very spacious. Sliding glass doors open up to that same wraparound patio space. Nice ceiling heights. And over here, let's take a quick look. We got another spacious, bathroom with a floating vanity design, LED lighting, and the stone that they use on the back wall continues all the way into the walk-in shower, wraps around. Looks gorgeous. Now let's go back to the hallway. Again, super spacious, a ton of space for your art. And we're back at the landing of the lower level. Now we have two rooms on each side. I'm gonna start with the right-hand side. Elevator access for this level. 
And talking about those louver details, we can actually see them over here, old white oak. You got a candy station here and you guys are gonna see why in a bit. This door opens up to a nice powder bathroom, just like the one that we saw on top floor, a little bit smaller, floating vanity design, natural stone throughout. Now, right on the other side, this interior pivot door opens up to the movie theater. I think this movie theater is super chic. I love the color palette here. It almost looks like the whole room is kind of sand clad, uh, which is kind of a weird term to use, but I love this beige tones with the carpet and the walls. You have your built-in speakers, recessed lights, obviously, your projector on this side, nice comfortable seating. It's not really staged as like a intense movie theater. It's more of like a nice TV room. Or very, like very low key. Media. Exactly. And Mikey, we're gonna have to talk about this detail. So they have these uh, vertical recessed in sections that has the LED lighting that creates this nice shadow detail on the floors. But as you get close to them, they're not actually strips of LEDs. They're curved details with a tucked in LED. It's plaster. It's gonna be hard to see on camera guys, but I tried my best. I had to talk about this. It's like they really spend the effort to do something different here. So I wanted to mention that. Yeah. Now, let's go back to the landing for a second. Right on the other side, we have these double glass doors opening up to your gym. Again, good size. It's mostly clad with glass, so you can actually see your uh, seating areas or the lower level on one side. And on this side, Fleetwood doors open up to the covered patio space. Perfect area to work out. You just leave these open, let the breeze come in, and you have your bike here and your TV on this side. Yeah, and we kind of brushed a little bit over that covered patio space, but it's really nice. It connects all three of the rooms on this side. Uh, and this afternoon we just had like great light coming in there. No, it's, it's great. Automatic shades throughout as well. A lot of details in this house. And this door opens up to your wellness center. I think it's so impressive to see how they join your sauna and the steam shower all together. And it looks so seamless. It almost looks like a one section, but it's not. There's actually a divider right in the center. Again, sauna on the left, steam shower on the right, cloud with travertine all the way to the ceiling and then uh, we have a vanity design right behind me open walk-in shower these showers are also really good size brushed nickel finish which is my favorite uh, type of finish in uh, bathroom fixtures shampoo niche and let's see right around the corner we have the water closet now let's talk about this side of this level which is the bar and the seating areas this bar looks Stunning. I mean, we have a massive island right in the center with a waterfall edge, of course, seating section on one side. And it kind of draws your attention to this side where they have these white oak planks. That louver design actually is also brought in here. Obviously, it doesn't serve as a louver, but it creates a beautiful texture. And they complemented that with these open shelving, LED lighting, and just little things. How the travertine countertops also goes up and serves as like a little short backsplash just an, adds another layer of uh, materials coming together and looking seamlessly tv right in the center and let's check out some of these cabinets we love these refrigerator drawers always always let's check it out we got a small fridge here kegerator kegerator it's always nice to have always nice to have right and then uh, i'm sure they have a dishwasher i gotta I knew it. You're getting lucky on your on your pushes today. I know, I am. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, talking about those uh, fixtures with knobs that are attached to the countertops, they even have it here. Turn one for us. Let's see it. Let's see it. The other sinks were like immaculate, but it looked like someone had already turned this one on. Turned this one on. So yeah. Good call. Gorgeous bar. I mean, it's a, it's a showstopper without a doubt. Now, the bar and this wood panel design continues to this side. We got a nice game table here. And then uh, before we... Focus to the other side, Mikey. Let's check this out. Let's see if I can remember the code. Automatic doors with the keypad access takes you to your temperature controlled wine cellar. Love the symmetry here, both with the cabinetry and the staging. And of course, each one of these shelves have LED lighting. It smells unbelievable here. It smells so good. Yeah, just like freshly cut wood. Exactly. Great space and I love that they went with this uh, glass door design. It just makes you enjoy your and appreciate your wine cellar a little bit more. All right, right off 
the staircase, we have a section here where they put a pool table right next to that very spacious seating section. Mikey, can we pan up to the ceiling for a second? We have these track lights. We have recessed in lights, but also we have these track lights that are also recessed in. But a good thing about these lights is that you can actually change the position of these lights. So if you want to highlight a certain art or you want to highlight a certain sculpture within your space, you can easily do that with these. Now, the same recessed in column design is also here, and that's how we have these sliding flipboard doors that are automatic that tucks into the walls, opens up this corner, and makes this space feel twice the size, honestly. I love this indoor-outdoor flow, and since we also have it covered here, I mean, even during rain, you would have no problem leaving these doors open and just enjoying the space and the fresh air coming in. Yeah, it's really nice. You have all these outdoor speakers around too. So as I said earlier, with the chef's kitchen, this is all entertainment area. So you can imagine having dinner parties, you know, regular parties, whatever down here, and that chef's kitchen being perfect for it. Perfect for it. Super private, you enjoy the views. And to top it all off, they even have a nice outdoor seating section here with a fire pit to take the experience to the next level. And with that, we're done with the lower floor. Now let's go back inside, take the stairs, go to the second floor and check out all the bedrooms. everyone here we are at the landing of the top floor I say top floor but we still have a rooftop deck to tour which we'll see in a bit on my right hand side we have the doors opening up to the primary bedroom and right behind me we have the landing for the staircase this wall of windows looking towards the amazing views the way this house is situated it doesn't have any neighbors on the view side so on one side you look at the canyons in the city and right behind you you look at the other canyons and all the way to the ocean which is amazing so as you're coming up these are the views you see. That's really nice. Now, we have the landing for the elevator for this level. These sliding glass doors open up to the patio space. That's a wraparound, which we're gonna see in a bit as well. But first, I wanna take everybody to the first bedroom on this level, which starts right here. Just like the other bedrooms, super spacious, light and bright, gets ton of natural light. We have the king size bed situated here. Wood tones continue here with the doors, hardwood floors. And again, going with that open corner design, we have the sliding glass door stacked on this side, tucking into the wall on the other, leaving the front of this bedroom all open. And since we have this patio space right off the bedroom, it gives a ton of privacy to this bedroom. And uh, Mikey, I don't know if you can show it, but you look at the amazing city views from here as well. All right, ready? Right on the other side, we have the walk-in closet, white oak cabinetry, and it leads us to the full bathroom. And again, beautiful finishes. I love how this one has basically few slabs that has been perfectly oriented all the way into your walk-in shower. Even the floor piece is a single piece, gently sloped into your linear drain. Brush nickel finishes, gorgeous bathroom. Now, let me take everybody back to the hallway. We have more of these massive picture windows on my left-hand side, again, facing the front of the home. And as we go up here, we have another bedroom. I love how this bedroom is a little bit more elevated. It's almost like has its own zone. It's nicely separated, super spacious, same hardwood floors, liver details are also here, better situated on this side. And uh, let's cover the closet and the bathroom real quick. Again, built-ins and going in, pretty much the same finishes that we saw in the earlier bathroom. Uh, the one that we just toured is also here. Looks great, and uh, we have these concealed hinges at the doors. Yeah, I gotta ask you, we don't usually see uh, closets leading into bathrooms. Yes. How do you like it? I don't mind it. You don't mind it? I, I guess mean, it makes sense, you go to the shower, come out here, put your clothes on. If anything, it's probably practical. Yeah. Um, you know what, actually, now that I think about it, I'm not crazy about having bathrooms and closets detached from each other. Yeah, sometimes I'll you know? be on opposite sides of the room. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense, I agree. Sliding glass doors, stack on this side and this bedroom kind of has its own patio space again because of that elevation it doesn't have any staircase coming up here so this patio space is dedicated for this bedroom and i love how they use plants throughout the first level second level top floor pretty much throughout with these concrete 
uh, planters, it just adds up to that organic vibe of this home. Yeah, it gives it like a very tropical feel too. And uh, from the drone shots, it just made the whole thing look like green and really lush and really nice. Well, while you're at that, let's talk about a couple more things. I mean, this house looks incredible from the outside once you see the kind of the drone angle. House is located on a hillside, so you can actually see the retaining walls they built to kind of taper off the land. They also beautifully landscaped it. So as a compound, as an estate, house looks incredible from the outside. That's it for this wing. Now let's go back to the landing and check out the primary bedroom. Off of the landing, we have this hallway taking us to the primary bedroom. Front door starts right here. And I love that primary bedroom has its own hallway. It kind of gives it a nice separation from the rest of the bedrooms. And as we walk in, we go straight into the primary bedroom area. Again, super spacious as expected. I love the wood tones here with the hardwood floors, wood panel back wall where we have the king size bed. This room is just very inviting, cozy. And again, going back to those setback columns, they have it also here. But to warm up this room, they actually clad the columns with the wood paneling rather than leaving it exposed like the first floor. Sliding glass doors open up on each corner, leaving this room very spacious. And in fact, since we're elevated right now, we can actually see all the way to the ocean on one side and we see the hillside and all the way to the city on the other. And uh, I love that the roof line cantilevers above this balcony. So it gives nice shade and privacy to the primary bedroom. And your bedroom pretty much flows into your seamless outdoor space. You have this balcony and uh, just little details like having the smooth stucco wall with a nice aluminum trim detail and they use the travertine as a top cap for this balcony. Just subtle details like that, I love it, so I wanted to point that out. But look how spacious uh, this bedroom feels with the balcony. Now, right on the other side, we have a small walk-in closet. Let's show this real quick. Again, white oak cabinetry. Love the symmetry here. Subtle LED lighting, very seamless, very minimalist. And right on the other side, I don't know if we show this view yet, but, um, this corner opens up to a patio again, the wraparound balcony, and right at the corner, they place a beautiful fire pit. And that fire pit looks kind of super smooth and sleek. And with a seating area where you can enjoy the views a little bit more. Another detail, you see on the street level, they wrap the balcony around with a stucco wall, but over here where it's a little bit more private, they actually put glass railing to kind of maximize the usage and the view corridors. Yeah, it's really nice. Awesome. And then a patio wraps around more of these concrete planters, but I wanna take everybody inside because right off the entry of this primary bedroom, we have this small hallway, nice little desk office set up with the built-ins. I love this massive corner glass that they have here. And of course, pretty much throughout the entire house and the bedrooms, we have automatic shades if you need the privacy, if you wanna black it out. Now, this door, we haven't showed these in a while pocket door opens up to the primary bathroom. This primary bathroom, like the kitchen, might be the two best parts of this home. And I know we have sliding glass doors, automatic you know, doors opening up, beautiful modern architecture, but the stone selection and the design of the kitchen and the bathroom, in my opinion, is so impressive. We have this stone, carved stone tub right in the center, perfectly framing the view, and it's right in the center of the opening. Sliding glass doors pocket in, open up to the wraparound balcony. This thing probably weighs close to a ton. Uh, and that kind of leads me to a question. How do they get this in here? They can't put it in the elevator, right? Crane. So they crane this in while it's under construction. This isn't like a regular tub. When they're finishing, they come drop it in. You know, granted, they have this opening here. So last minute, maybe they managed to crane it in. And then from here, they just kind of slide it into the space. I don't know. But regardless, saying that you're going to put it freestanding tub like this in your home is a challenge. Like you need to plan the logistics of it. I guess you have to be really precise with, with your moving process too. I'm sure if you drop that thing from like two inches, it would crack, right? Oh, without a doubt. You'll ruin your floors, everything. Yeah. But uh, looks stunning. Well worth it. Yeah. Good call. We have the first vanity set up here. They brought the same marble that we saw in the kitchen also here. And I really appreciate the stone runs from the bottom of the cabinetry all the way to the ceiling. And they have this floating shelf design on the bottom with the drawers and this gorgeous fabricated vanity design here, hidden drains, round mirror with LED lighting, looks stunning. And we have the same style vanity design right on the other side as well. Let's quickly show that as well. 
looks gorgeous, perfectly proportioned. Water closet right here, and let's go straight into the walk-in shower. If you didn't get enough of this marble, you get more of it here, marble. and I'm not sick of it. It's intense, uh, I like it a lot. Just the veins, everything. It's so rich and so like in-depth, you know? Yeah. It looks great. Shampoo niche, even the bench design has a tiny bit of slope, so when it gets wet, the water gently runs underneath and tucks into the drains. Brush nickel finishes, two rain heads, all open with this glass enclosure. Stunning, beautiful. Now, second water closet here, and this door opens up to the main walk-in closet. I really have to take my time to appreciate the symmetry in this walk-in closet, how everything is beautifully proportioned. And then uh, we have the LED lighting, oak panels on the back, hangers, drawers, and they also utilize the space all the way to the ceiling. You have your recessed lights. You got a gorgeous island right in the center with the marble countertops and a nice bench design here so you can sit down, tie your shoes and all that. Let me wrap around, but again, pretty much uniform finishes. You got a nice little prep area here for you to sit down. Uh, looks great and even the two mirrors that we have on each side is nicely framed with the oak paneling and has LED lighting on the back. Now you may think that's it for this level but it's not. We're actually going to go outside to the wraparound balcony and we're going to take this walk here and it's nice to have this continuous balcony. It just extends your outdoor space and then uh, we have a staircase here going up to the rooftop. Let's check it out. How would you describe this area of Beverly Hills to someone who's not really, who doesn't really know Beverly Hills that well? Well, this is the hills of Beverly Hills. And I like to say the Beverly Hills Hotel for me is ground zero. Okay. Kind of in the 50 yard line of Beverly Hills. And that's where it all started, the Beverly Hills Hotel. And that's where how they got people to come to Beverly Hills and built around that. And this used to be all just the hills of Beverly Hills where people used to hunt horse riding and then it, it eventually started in the early 1900s and the late 1800s and, and it started getting built up and people built ranches up here. And what's so great I love about Hollywood, I mean what I love about Beverly Hills, excuse me, is all the history. So much Hollywood history. So many tycoons and mavericks of this industry all lived in Beverly Hills because it was the 50 yard line from downtown Los Angeles to Santa Monica. As if all the outdoor spaces in this house weren't enough, you even get a rooftop deck. And I know why developers went this route, because as we go higher and higher, the view corridors are getting better and better. And on this level, we can really see the, most of the city views and the hillside on one side. And on our right-hand side, we can see the canyon all the way to Wilshire Corridor, Century City, and the ocean. These are just amazing here since we are so elevated. And to complement the experience here on this rooftop deck, they brought a nice size hot tub, planters, and again, going with those plants and kind of the earth tones of this home. And following here, we have kind of a sunken uh, deck space with built-in seating all around, again, with planters. It's just another amazing outdoor space that complements the rest of your outdoor spaces in this house. I'm also realizing more details. We have recessed in lighting, built-in speakers. I mean, what else do you need? All right, everyone, that's it for the tour. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I wanna congratulate the architect, the developers, and everybody that was involved with this project for doing a phenomenal job with this build. I love 
all the finishes that we saw throughout the day. Views are phenomenal, and I'm really glad we had a chance to tour this property and share it with all of you. And for that, I also want to thank the listing agents, Rainy Williams, Brandon Williams, and Tyrone McKillen for allowing us to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you. And as always, you can find more information about the property and the property link down in the description of this video. Lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, just make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week.